All right, it's time to get started on this thing. I've been trying to think of what to do with this project uh, as far as clay goes and what kind of clays to use. And um, I was thinking about using that uh, clay that self hardens rock hard and it really does. But I'm thinking that if I put it on the, the legs of the, uh, the horse, if the foundry has to cut those legs off to cast the horse separate or whatever they do, uh, that could cause a big problem as I'm busy picking up tools that I keep dropping on the floor. I tell you one thing that artists do learn quickly is gravity. The laws of gravity. If a tool can roll off a desk, it will fall to the floor. It won't float, it will fall. Uh, anyway, I'm just clearing off my table here a little bit so that I can uh, start uh, cutting up some clay. I've got to replenish my clay supply. And I'm trying to think what to do with these tools. I need a, that a different jar. I think I just found it. Ah, there go my tools. Time to play with some clay. All right, I gotta resupply the clay in my clay tub. Why is it all, I got six feet on the, this sculpting stand and four on my chair and at least one of these damn feet will line up perfectly with my, one of my four legs on my chair and I can't move my chair up. So, uh, I'll tell you, Murphy's Law. Anyway, I'm going to cut this clay up. I'm using a... Uh, drywall spatula to do it. I do this after warming the clay under a light, a 100 watt wall bulb for about half hour, an hour. And, uh, and I had to wait for the room to warm up down here because it was cold and no matter what you put on above a cold room clay, the clay is going to stay cold and uh, I need to have it softened up to work with. I'm not sure I'm going to start with this clay first or <laughs> what did I just say about gravity? I got to put a uh, armature support in the clay and naturally it's on the floor. Oh, there goes my ruler on the floor. Ah! Oh, Lord. So I need to get the angle. And I need to get the right width of uh, drill bit for the uh, dowel. And the fan's kicking on. I know you guys love that. Gee, money Christmas. What the hell is wrong with me today? Everything's hitting the floor. It is winter here in Montana, so you can expect me to have uh, a heater go on every once in a while during the winter time. Because I don't like freezing to death. I, I kind of like being comfortable in my own skin. I don't want to have my skin turn blue. So let me think, what do I got to do here? Okay, I got to get the angle of the body of the horse in the right position. And that's it right there. And I need to align Something else is going to fall on the floor here quick. 
I'm gonna move this out of the way now. So I need to drill my hole right there. Hmm. Or there. I think I'm gonna gonna have that happen I just got to make sure that everything lines up here where it needs to be I need this support to uh, hold that clay in place or the uh, armature in position so it's not falling over and I need to drill another hole and put a screw there but I'll do that after I get this so I am going to use this but I'm going to use this only to solidify the anchor of that uh, stick It does leave your hands a little white, but that's okay, you can clean them. It's going to take 24 hours for this clay to harden, which will uh, pretty much blow the day for working on the clay. Yeah, that looks good. It may work out. Now, I was going to put this kind of clay on here. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put it on the uh, where the head or the skull is going to be. Now the next thing I got to do is uh, get this guy anchored. And, uh, again, let's get the piece of wood and come down like that. I'm going to have to just leave it sit here. I tried to put some new screw holes into the base and all it did was split the damn wood. And that's even after drilling holes. So I'm going to have to work around that. Because I can't have the screws attaching the uh, base where I have to put my drill between the horse and the uh, screw and destroying everything I've produced. So got to figure out something. I Maybe what I'll do is get a flat piece of uh, plywood and put it on the bottom and just glue it onto the... I'll, I'll figure it out. But this is the uh, positioning right now of the, of the uh, two horses. And like I said, I'm just going to let the clay solidify. Uh, I'm not worried about it being perfectly anchored in the rib cage. I want it anchored on the uh, stick. And then uh, when I put clay, on, regular clay on the uh, armature and on top of that clay, it'll uh, anchor it all. I've got all my clay cut and ready to go tomorrow or whenever. I've got to do this. I got to do a couple more things with uh, this uh, self-hardening clay. So it's going to be a couple of days before I actually put play on this. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. 
it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.